Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. There must be something in the air or somebody did a video, maybe Tactical Bassin did a video on colors, but I've gotten probably 15 comments over the last couple of days where people are asking me for what colored plastics I like to use. And I've had questions regarding wacky rigs. I've had questions about what color plastics on shaky heads, what color plastics on worms. I've had a bunch of colors and I are questions regarding colors and I don't know where that's coming from, but I figured I would address it. I've kind of talked about this in the past. Uh, I think a lot of you know at this point that I'm all about paring tackle down. Even though I've got walls of tackle here, I really like to limit the amount of tackle that I carry in my boat. And plastics are one of the best ways to do it. You know, you can go to the tackle store and you'll be overwhelmed by the number of colors of, say, green pumpkin or the number of colors of, say, uh, you know, black and blue or various versions of all of these different things. And a lot of times it just comes down to glitter. Green pumpkin, purple flake, green pumpkin, blue flake, green pumpkin, black flake, green pumpkin, red flake, green pumpkin, orange flake. You can go on and on and on. And as much as I want to sit here and say that, you know, it's cool to have a whole bunch of different colors, I don't think it matters that much. I really think you're looking to have four base colors. And that's what I try to do. I want to, I'm really trying to limit the amount of tackle that I bring in my boat uh, because not only does it, you know, take weight out of the boat. It gives me more space in the boat. It saves me a bunch of money because now I'm not buying 40 packs of every color with every flake. It's not necessary. I think what's more important is to figure out what colors you like and then be able to use those because you have confidence. But when it comes down to colors, to answer the questions that I've been getting, I really feel like you need four base colors. These are pretty simple basic colors. I'm going to talk specifically about wacky rigs because I try to basically limit myself to these baits that I'm throwing, these colors. The first and foremost, you have to have some sort of natural green or brown color. Personally, I like green pumpkin black flake. This is just the green pumpkin Berkeley Max scent, the general, one of my absolute favorites. This works in almost all water colors. It really works well in clear water, it works well in stained water. It even works in dirty water, but it wouldn't necessarily be my first choice. So if I'm fishing dirty or off-colored water, that's when I like to go with a black and blue. You know, you, you can have a bunch of different colors of black and blue. You could have uh, like South African Special is one I really like, which is black with a little bit of silver flake, a little bit of red flake. This is black with blue flake. Uh, the point here is you want to have a really dark color, uh, and black is as dark as you're going to get. So if I'm fishing muddy water or very dirty water or low light conditions, I like to go with a black based color. Now from there, that leaves us with two options. The next one I'm going to go with, and I talk about this color a lot on the channel, is the Maxent purple color. Now this is just a more of an oxblood purple color. Uh, there's similar ones that uh, Yamamoto Cinco has that's a, uh, I don't know the exact color. I think it's purple with blue flake, but it looks very similar to this. I really like this color and it's a good all around color because it's kind of a muted, you know, ox bloody purple. I really like it in tannic colored water. So if I'm fishing uh, down in Florida, if I'm fishing up here in the upper Midwest where we have a lot of tannic color, or what I would consider more of a stained river water color, like on the Mississippi River or on the Wisconsin River here. I like this purple. I think purple is a great uh, muted natural color still. It works very well still in your clear water. And at the same time, you can still throw that in your muddier water because it is a little bit darker. It's not as dark as black, but it is a little bit darker. So those are my three main go-tos. The last one I'm gonna be throwing, is some sort of white or shad color. This is just a straight white with a silver flake in it. I want to have something that matches bait fish. And this is going to be more of a situational color for me. It could be when I'm fishing uh, during a shad spawn. It could be if I'm fishing suspended fish and I'm letting this bait fall out in deep water, but I know those fish are feeding on shad or they're feeding on cisco or herring. 
I like to have something that matches that forage. So if I'm fishing fish that are keying specifically on bait fish, that's when I will throw a white or a shad or a shiner colored bait to mimic that forage. But when you're talking about, you know, limiting the amount of tackle, these are the three colors you need, guys. Some form of these base colors, and you will get, you know, all of the productivity that you need out of them. If you want to go the extremes and have 25 different flakes within each one of these base colors, you can do that. But it's not necessary, in my opinion. Very rarely do I think you're going to make a difference if you go from, uh, you know, straight black to black with blue flake in it. I don't think that makes a big difference personally. And I'm not going to go out and buy 25 packs or just say two packs of each color. And that just saved me from, you know, spending an extra 10 or 15 bucks. And I think that's valuable. If you're a bank fisherman, you don't want to be walking around the bank with all kinds of different you know, packs, because that just adds a bunch of weight. If you're a kayak fisherman, you don't have room for all of that. If you're even fishing out of a bass boat like myself, guys, I don't have room to have 10 or 15 different colors of all of the main plastics I like to use. Because as soon as you start breaking that down and do Texas rig plastics, maybe some plastics for Carolina rigs, wacky rigs, shaky heads, drop shots, all of that, if I'm carrying 15 different colors, that's just way overkill in my opinion. You can get by using these standard basic colors of each. It's up to you if you want, you know, if, if you've got a specific flake you like to use, a lot of people like to use say red flake, so watermelon red. So maybe instead of using green pumpkin, you throw watermelon with red flake. To me, I don't think that's gonna create a huge difference. I'm sure I'll get kicked back because there are places in this country where if you're not throwing watermelon red, people think you're crazy. But the reality is I haven't seen it where a, you know, small minute change creates a huge difference in the success. Yes, I think there's times you can nail the color and it may get you a few extra bites. But overall, I don't know that it comes down to creating that much of an impact. So hopefully this answers your questions. Guys, in my opinion, it's about paring down tackle, saving you a few dollars, having the primary colors that you need. And in most instances, those will get you by. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If there's colors that you think I missed, put it in the comments section, because maybe I did miss something, or maybe somebody else out there agrees with you and you're gonna list off their favorite color and therefore it just gives them confidence to stick with what they are using. So stick with it. Confidence is the key, as I always like to say. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, we'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.